Hi, I'm talking to the gorgeous and very talented Sarah Snook about her new film, Not Suitable for Children. Sarah, thank you for talking to us. Um, the last time we spoke to you was on the red carpet of the Sydney Film Festival, which your film had the huge honour of opening. Tell me, what was that like? Uh, pretty thrilling, pretty exciting, um, very surreal and very odd to kind of go through that media wall as well and it's so, um, you know, it's like a zoo, it's like, oh my god, this is for this film, this is amazing. Um, and yeah, but it's super exciting and having a whole audience be there and laugh with you when you're, when you're finding it funny, like everyone else is as well, that's, that's the best. So tell us about your character Stevie. Oh, Stevie! I love. I loved playing Stevie. She's um. She's pretty witty. She's acerbic. She's she's one of the boys. She can kind of hold her own. Loves to have a party. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> somewhat like me. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no. She, and she's you know she's got a big heart, but she's like got a bit of a defensive barrier. She's definitely a member of the boys' club. Was it like that on set? Uh, it had to be. It was a boys' club cast. <laughs> um, a little bit, but uh, you know, Ryan, both Ryan's, that one, and, and Ryan Core were um, were great to work with. So it was like a little family, a little yeah. pocket. I was always wondering that. How, so how did you differentiate between the two Ryans on set? Ryan K, Ryan C. Ryan K, Ryan yeah. C. Yeah. Okay. They didn't know some <laughs> stupid nicknames they went by. No, we thought we should create them, but never quite happened. I think to their um, liking as well. <laughs> It looked like a really fun set. It was really fun, like a, a good vibe, like really happy, fresh and vibrant and, mm -hmm. and those party scenes were really fun to shoot. It's weird how in a room full of people with the windows blacked out and it was daytime, no alcohol, but everyone acts like they're drunk because you have to because it's the party, mm -hmm. like it's, that's what you're doing. Yeah. And everyone had a really good time, which was really strange and really fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the secrets, uh, Hollywood secrets, is that they add the music in later. Did they do that on the set or did no. they pump it all day long? No, you see Peter was really uh, insistent that we had to like to make a party actually like a party you had to have a party so uh, it was the same song but it was pumped really loudly <laughs> yeah no we were rocking out pretty hard now the film was shot in Sydney how much of a role do you think that that setting played in the film like how, how vital was that setting what I really liked about the story was that it's very human and, and universal like it didn't have to be in Sydney but um, you know, Sydney, Sydney became a character as well within the film. Like, uh, there's those beautiful bird's eye shots of Ryan walking through Enmore and seeing the graffitied walls. And I was thinking about this the other day, those walls are probably not there now. They're probably, they're painted over, but with other art. So it's kind of nice to kind of preserve that in some way. In the film, Jonah, played by Ryan Quanton, has a very unusual request of you as his best friend. In real life, has any of your friends ever made such a, an unusual request? Um, not pertaining to that request. No. Well, no. no. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there has been some, but eh, they're my friends. I'll do anything for them. <laughs> so how did you get the role of Stevie? I did many auditions. Yes. How many? <laughs> Do you remember I think like four or five. One? Yeah, that was like over a month, like maybe like five months, I think. So every time it was like just that enough, just the length of time to think, well, that's done, all good, oh well, next time, oh, I, again, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I even went. I went to do a screen test in the States um, because Ryan Quantum couldn't get time mm -hmm. to come to Australia, and they needed to do chemistry tests. But it, that's a strange experience in itself, going for an entirely Australian production to the States and auditioning over there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you should do that for films that are made in America, not here. Unfortunately, I'm going to ask you to speak on behalf of your co-star Ryan. He does come home a lot to make um, local films. Did you two talk about why he does that at all? Um, I think he really believes in the vibrancy of the Australian film industry and he wants to be able to be part of that. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I think there's something to be said about um, you know, making a name somewhere else and then coming back. Like, I feel like he possibly feels like there's a responsibility to come back and, and you know, engage with the Australian film industry and build it up to you know, its potential. It's, mm -hmm. got, it's a lot here. Let, let's use it. So is the US on your radar? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'd like to work there. Um, I think, you know, just by being a place that has a sheer quantity of, of films that it, you know, produces, that there's going to be a larger amount of quality. But that doesn't mean that um, we can't compete, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got, we've got it here. I really admire what Ryan does. Like, he works there, but then is able to come back here. And, and you know, my family's here and my, my friends are here. So yeah. if I can be here and there or wherever else in the world, I just wherever the good work is. So you two had to get very up close and personal with each other. There was some nudity in the film.
Um, where in the shoot was that? Uh, well, thankfully they scheduled it as the final thing. Okay. So it was the last two days of shooting, which is good and bad in that, um, yes, the last two days of shooting, so there's a rapport that's been built and you feel more comfortable with, it, with one another, but also for your final scene, it's like... And that's a wrap on Sarah. Great. Let me go put some clothes on. Um, <laughs> and then I'll celebrate. But right now I'm nude, so thank yes. you. It was nice working with you. Please don't remember me naked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So what's next for Sarah Snook? Well, I finished uh, shooting a horror film called Jezebel mm -hmm. in the States recently. Um, did that in April, actually, on the East Coast, which was <sighs> such funny. a whirlwind of things that happened. Like... From like or from getting the role to doing it was maybe about three weeks. Very very fast. Mm -hmm. So visa process and then shooting it was done within two months. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it Are was you a pretty. Fan? Uh, I hadn't been, but then I did some research and became one. When I watched good horror films, I was like, that my goodness, I've been missing out. This is so good. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Um, well, I really liked the orphan because that little girl is she's incredible. She's like, yeah. I, <laughs> she's so scary. Now, I want to play a game with you in the spirit of the film. Um, I have some photos here that I've composited with some celebrities that you're not friends with yet. Notice I say yet. Um, so let's have fun with it. We're going to play a game called Would You Have That Baby? Okay, first one. Oh, it's sweet. Let's try and pick the daddy. I'll give you a hint. This guy does not need any more kids. Is it Brad Pitt? It is. Yeah. yeah. You like that? That's a cute kid. That's a cute kid. All right, we've got another one. <laughs> that, who is that? Hint, it's one of Brad Pitt's best friends. George Clooney. Are you serious? Do you have George Clooney's baby? I, yes, probably. <laughs> uh, this guy's recently filed for divorce. That's a cute kid. Yeah? He's nice. Would, what, you, uh, would you have a Scientologist baby? <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, okay. This is you and Albert Einstein, by the way. <laughs> it's got a kind of creepy little baby moustache going on there. <laughs> I don't think I'd have I think that's kid. a personal favourite. This one is you and Harry Potter. Oh, he's so glasses. cute. And there's something that looks like he's wearing a fur coat on the side. <laughs> Back to the movie. This is you and Ryan Kaur. Whoa. That, well, big blue eyes, that's nice. You can actually see him in that. That's actually pretty freaky. He's got a moustache, though. Like a I weird, like, bum bum. I can positively right. with. And last but not least, if the movie ended differently, uh -huh. this is you and Ryan Quanton. Oh, see? Sweet. Yeah. It's got it's the little eyes and the... Mama. And the, like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for talking pleasure. to us. It was an absolute pleasure and good luck with the film. Thanks, thank you. Not Suitable for Children hits cinemas nationwide on July 12th. So check back at Switch for our review and don't forget to join the huddle. Like it, follow it and make the switch.